This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by PortCityCoin.com So you're a principal, is that correct? Yeah, I gotta go, I'm so sorry. To what extent do you respect students' right to record when they're in school? If they pull out a cell phone and try to record a newsworthy incident, what happens to them? This is an excerpt from the latest Ridleyo to come up on the chopping block for potential censorship. The original upload isn't one of my better ones. I was having equipment problems and had to upload in low resolution. It's also one of those vids I like to refer to as popular yet unpopular, because it has, I guess the upload has over 3,000 hits, but sort of negative reactions. Now, limited credit, where limited credit is due. So what probably must have happened is it sort of must have gone internally viral at, within the Keene School District or something. Because uh, it's a video of me at a Keene School Board meeting trying to interview a principal of a middle school. Some of the students there are involved in the governing process. They were sitting at the front, so they're in the video. And to the empire for which it stands, one torture state under fraud, completely visible, with spying and lying to all. They could just as easily be in the video if they were in the audience, I suppose. But if you want to see the video with all the original sound, just look at the link in the video description. They say you should uh, believe what you see rather than what you hear. And uh, what I've seen in most of my years of interacting with YouTube, especially the last five years, is that they've been good about censorship resistance for me. Since, I think, 2011 or 2012, they have never agreed to take down any video as a result of uh, someone complaining about it. Uh, no video of mine, and, and I've probably uploaded 1,500 videos since then, maybe 2,000. Uh, nevertheless, nevertheless, I think it's uh, useful to go ahead and you know give a little bit of Barbara Streisand effect to anyone who tries to get a video taken down, if if uh, practical. Uh, so someone in this video didn't want to be on YouTube, so now they're on YouTube twice. Not because they didn't want to be on YouTube, but because they didn't want to be on YouTube in the context of their civic involvement, something that should be our business. Uh, no, I'm not going to put them on YouTube if they're not operating at my expense and they're at Market Basket or something. Uh, but if someone wants to interfere with the public's right to film the civic process and upload it, a process of which they are a part, then there's going to be an issue. It's a good opportunity to remind folks, whether it's popular or not, uh, that we should be contesting this idea that there is some sort of magical bubble around anyone who's a female and old. Old women are you know, just as capable of violating your rights as anybody else. And if they've stolen, proper, uh, stolen property from you in the form of taxes, uh, or accepted stolen property in the form of taxes, they should be subject, subjected to questioning. One of the uh, concerns I have with YouTube, though, is not so much just the fact that they, you know, they accept these privacy complaints and then notify you of them and maybe, you know, intimidate you into taking a video down. But the, the problem is when they sent me this notification, they sent me a time code, supposedly, that uh, of the spot in the video that uh, someone was complaining about. But the time code is unreadable, uh, unrecognizable. It always is every time I look at these videos. It's a zero followed by an underscore followed by a zero six. And I think that time code, if that was referring to six seconds into the video, that would take me to the beginning of the ad. And I'm pretty sure my advertiser, my good friend Russell Canning, is not complaining about the video or anything that's in the ad. Or there's nothing in the ad. He's in the picture in the ad, so... So I have no no idea, you know, which part of the video uh, was an issue to someone. The YouTube message uh, hints that maybe I should blur people's faces out or delete the video within 48 hours or whatnot. And that 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 intimidation part I don't appreciate. But again, like I said, they almost always side with me on these things, and I do appreciate that, and I appreciate the large number of hits they bring in, plus the opportunity to remind folks that. Many of the folks involved in, or some of the folks, or at least one of the folks involved in the civic process in Keene are bad guys trying to censor you, or me, or keeping you from seeing this video. We're always saying how ugly politics is. Here's a reminder. Rare coins, pawns, gold and silver bullion. 
Check out Port City Coin in Portsmouth, New Hampshire for your precious metal needs. A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, happy to do a cash transaction. Why buy your metals from one of those slave state mints when you can support the free state economy? Visit PortCityCoin.com, or as I like to call it, PortCityCoin.com.